All right, guys, so welcome to your 20th, and let me actually note that down, because I have a little piece of paper right here that I write what number I'm on, because usually whenever I'm making tutorials a lot in a row, I just forget completely, and then I'm like, hey, guys, uh, what's going on? But anyways, what we did so far is we created an HTML file. This is it, and we created some styling. Pretty cool. And in our HTML file, what we said is whenever you click I'm a dude, then you're going to call this dude function. However, check this out, nothing's happening, and that's because we didn't create the functions yet in JavaScript. So let's go ahead and do that right now, and the first thing that we need to do is put a new file, and I'll just name it Bucky, oops, that's not where you do that, Bucky.js for JavaScript. And now what I want to do is get rid of that, I actually want to move this over. Whatever file I'm working on, I like to have it, you know, right there for some reason weird OCD kind of thing but the function that we want to work with first let me make sure I got this right alright one's called dude and one's called chick so let's go ahead and work with the dude first and I'll show you guys basically what this function is gonna do and that's this whenever you click this button it's gonna set the overall table to the dude to the dude table It's gonna set the head which is things in my pocket this right here it's gonna set it to this and it's gonna set the items of course to do to items so how do we do that well the first thing we need to do of course and this as a general rule this is always the first thing you want to do whenever you're trying to change something on an HTML page with JavaScript or Ajax you wanna reference everything in JavaScript so the table equals document dot get element E-L-E-M-E-N-T hold on let me look that up in dictionary by ID and the ID of this is I don't even think we gave it an ID so alright ID equals table that's embarrassing table alright so now what we did is this table variable represents the table on our website so after this, let me go ahead and save this. I hate when that's red for some reason. The next thing we want to do is do this with the head and the different items. So I'm going to save us a little bit of time by copying this. So basically, the table head, make sure I have the IDs for these, is table head. And item one is item one. And item two is of course the second item so now what we basically did is we created variables and we can alter these variables in JavaScript and it's gonna alter the HTML on our web page pretty freaking cool but now we have the question how do we change the style or the look of an element in JavaScript well we do that and this is one technique by changing its class so right now for example if you look at this table it has no class and I don't mean like oh it's a scum it's not very classy I mean in HTML it doesn't have a class so it's pretty hard to style something or change its class if it doesn't have class so what we want to do is whenever we click this function and dude is called we want to go ahead and set the class of this table so table which we define right here go ahead and change its class name equal to whatever class name we got right here which was do table now what this line of code is gonna do is this and I'll go ahead and explain this one little mini example and then you're gonna understand the rest of the code so basically by default this table has no styling whatsoever so then whenever we click I'm a dude right here it's gonna call the dude function in JavaScript so what the dude function is gonna do is it's gonna get all your elements as a reference and it's gonna change the class name of this table of this table right here to dude table so actually if we go ahead and save this and refresh it right now whenever you click I'm a dude check out what happens it changes the style of the table now of course if you click I'm a chick nothing happens because we didn't build that and also the head and the items are not working yet so let's go ahead and do that so this is basically how you change the look of an element dynamically now we can just go ahead and copy this and this is gonna take like one second maybe two 
Okay, maybe three, four, five, six seconds, just like I said. All right, so what is this one? Dude head, dude head, and dude items, and all the items get the same styling. So now basically what we're doing is whenever we click that dude function using this button, it's going to go ahead and call the dude function in this JavaScript file and change the styling of every single one of these elements. So we already know that that's true because we look a, took a look at that mini example. So now let me go ahead and just copy this, save us a whole crap load of time, give myself some more space, and now I'll just go ahead and copy this and change this to the chick function. Now remember the chick function is basically the exact same thing as this, the only difference is it uses these classes because these are like the pink and yellow italic little cool girly classes so let me go ahead and see what's different okay so the function name is different in pretty much the last four lines alright so chick table instead of dude table chick head instead of dude head and chick items instead of dude items so save that and we should be good to go as long as I spelled everything right and okay looks good to go so now go ahead and save that and refresh and check it out now remember when you refresh the page the default HTML is basically no classes or no styling whatsoever it's not until you click one of these buttons until the JavaScript functions are called changing this dynamically so click I'm a dude and it changes to the dude where everything's manly blue and red click I'm a chick and it changes it dynamically through JavaScript where of course everything is pink yellow all girly and italic like that so basically the user can click back and forth and back and forth and if you're like you know what this isn't really Ajax it's just JavaScript and we didn't really use XML at all well the reason I want to give you guys this example without throwing you guys into XML is because this is going to happen dynamically through your XML instead of the user clicking a button. For example, whenever you're on Facebook or something and you click like, well instead of a button it's just a link that says like. Now what that button does is it changes to unlike or you can you know um what else is an example if you want to say view more comments or on this YouTube video you're watching right now where you click on the description instead of changing this to you know blue and red it shows you more of the description or more comments or more information basically all of that is done through the use of XML and we're talking about how those are more tightly integrated later on but for now this is how you include CSS in JavaScript or fire in your files and also basically this is what we're going to be using this technique working with Ajax in the future so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe I'm gonna keep clicking this for you know probably a few more hours and when I'm done I'll teach a new tutorial so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time